Well, hello hackers, pen testers, and bug bounty hunters. This is Mohammad Badr Dija back again with another lab from CSRF vulnerability module from the Proswiger. So, in today's lab, we are gonna bypass the same side lax cookie via method override. Okay, so let's see the description of this lab. This lab's change email function is vulnerable to CSRF, and to solve the lab, perform a CSRF attack that changes the victim's email address. So you should use the provided exploit server to host your attack and we have one valid credential. Now there is a note and it's saying the default same site restriction differ between browsers as the victim uses Chrome. We recommend also use Chrome browser or Burp Suite built in Chromium browser to test your exploit. Fine. <clears throat> so in the previous video, I created that video dedicated on the same site cookie attribute so before solving this lab i highly recommend you to watch the previous video on the same site cookie attribute where i describe how and what and where the same site cookie attribute is being used i also define all three types of same site uh, cookie attribute lax strict and none so that's been said let's jump to the lab so let's go i'm just going to turn on the burp proxy on my browser and uh, jump to the login page so we have one valid credential uh, the username is wiener and the password is peter let's log in and this is the change email functionality so i'm just going to test it here let's say i'm gonna say um, test at cybersec dot radar this is the email i'm going to change now update email so the features are working correctly but behind the scene under the hood uh, we need to analyze all these requests uh, and perhaps we will find the csrf vulnerability in this particular feature so switch to the burp suite and here we have all the requests so you can see this is the login request this is the change email request where we change the email and everything seems uh, normal but one thing if you notice here there is no csrf there is no csrf cookie and there is no csrf token so that means this functionality is vulnerable to csrf but the thing here is um, if we go to login request because once we log in you can see here that this is our normal session before login and once we log in with the valid credentials we are set to another session cookie but uh, if we see closely here we have new session cookie and in rest of the if we go above so we can see in rest of the uh, request we have this new session cookie okay so this session cookie will tell that we are authenticated okay so one thing to be noticed here that um, in this particular response we don't have same site cookie explicitly mentioned here so if you do not explicitly see same site cookie attribute here in the set cookie so it doesn't mean that same site does not apply because now by default browsers use same site cookie if it is not explicitly defined as strict or none that means the default value of the same site cookie is lax okay so that means the lax same site is applied here and we need to bypass that one and how we will bypass it we need to find out that so i'm going to send this request to the repeater go to the repeater and here um, let's try to change and see if we can do it or not so as you can see 302 we are redirected to this location and if we come back here right now we are assigned with test at cybersec.radar if we refresh the page or click on my account page again you can see the email gets changed now the problem here is same site cookie will send the session cookie to the cross site request in the cross site request but it only possible if two conditions are met the first condition is the request must be or the request must using 
uh, get HTTP method. Okay, so if the request is using HTTP method get at that instant, the browser will send the cookie to the cross site in the cross site request. Fine, and the second condition the request resulted from a top level navigation by the user that means uh, the user must click on a link so in these two condition if these two conditions are met then browser will send the cookie cross site otherwise will not send and if the cookie is not sent so cross site request forgery will not work so that's why it's important to find out the way to bypass the same site lacks value first condition is we need to use get http method so if we right click on it and change the request method you can see now the request method is get and let's go i'm going to change the email from test 2 to test 3 because we need to use unique email address and let's try to send this request and once we send this request you will see here method not allowed fine but the thing is there are a uh, bunch of uh, a couple of frameworks that gives you ability to explicitly change the http method on fly and how you can do it so you can do it by adding here one more parameter and the parameter name is underscore method and its value let's say post because the previous request if we see it was working fine if the request method is post but on get method it was giving us method not allowed that means post method is allowed so why not why not we try something like this okay so what happened once this request has been seen and because the framework support uh, explicitly on fly changing or uh, defining the HTTP method so this method what you put here is always take the precedence over this uh, the browser will see this is the get request but actually this will take the precedence over this get request so now to test it I am just going to send this request and this time you will see we have 302 found that means we are redirected to this location and that means that means our email gets changed so now you can see test 2 if we refresh or click on my account you can see now we have test 3 this email address so now let's go I'm going back here now we are going to exploit server and here we are going to write our code um, I'm going to say form and I'm going to define the action and I'm going to define the method so method will be post right now what I'm going to do I'm going to define the input tag within that I'm going to define type which is hidden so that user will not see anything uh, what is being submitted then the name of that field is going to be email and the value of this email field is going to be uh, let's say hacked at um, subscribe me subscribe dot me okay um, and then I'm going to close it close the form and I'm going to add here a script tag and within this I'm going to say document sorry document dot forms and because we have only one form and we need to submit this because we need to submit this form automatically fine and at last we need to close this script tag fine uh, now within the action we need to we need to take this endpoint so copy url come back here and paste it because we are looking for the change email functionality okay so it will take action on this with method post submitting trying to submit uh, email with value this and this input tag will be hidden and then it will auto submit this form 
this form okay so i'm going to store it fine and let's deliver this exploit to the victim hope for the best and as expected the lab is not solved why because of the same side cookie and because the application does not define the same side cookie attribute uh, as a strict or none so that means the same side cookie value is is lags okay so if here you will see same side is equal to a strict or none but if you do not see that means it's using same side cookie attribute value lags and for lags as i mentioned it needs two uh, requirement the first one is http method must be get method and the second one that user must click a link so uh, what we can do we can do one thing we can change the request method from post to get i'm gonna add one more input field okay type is gonna be hidden as before uh, name is equal to let's say underscore method and value is equal to let's say post here okay this is same what i did here in the repeater okay yeah this one the same thing i did here so i explicitly mentioned here the request is post and this will take the precedence over this method so same thing we do here uh, with the by defining in the input tag so we can also close these two tags and that's it so now we just need to store it and we need to deliver the exploit to the victim and boom we solve the lab see you in the next video and if you like the content please like subscribe and share bye